Vladimir Samsonov, third place uh, in the Lieber Men's World Cup. Disappointment this morning against uh, Timo Ball, but of course you beat Zhu Jin, who you lost to 4-1 in the group stage. And after that match, you said to me, that's quite normal. Now, uh, that was a very normal performance this afternoon. Congratulations. And what was the difference? It's hard to say, of course, if you play uh, against players like Suksin, if you play more often, you get a better feeling for the serve, for example, and also for his heavy topspin. And uh, I also had a feeling he was a bit tired. I mean, he, yeah, he was different from the group. And uh, maybe also I played better, I mean. <laughs> Well, you played extremely well, but let me take you back to 2008, to your home city of Minsk. You played Zuzhin in the final of the team event and lost. You then played him in the final of the singles and won. It was uh, the Belarus Open of some four years ago, revisited. I mean, did you learn, learn anything from that first match, the first defeat here in uh, Liverpool? Yes, I think so. I mean, in Belarus, uh, in a team event... It was the first time that I saw Suksin actually and uh, yes, he was a really very good player back then and maybe in some way I thought, yeah, a young Chinese player, maybe, yeah, he'll be afraid of me or something like that, but I think he beat me 3-0. And then of course for the single finals, uh, yes, I was concentrated a bit better, but also it was a very difficult game, but I was, yeah, I was actually very... Happy that I won. I won uh, yeah, back in 2008 and of course Kuxin is a much better player now and uh, after the group match, yeah, I actually thought of course, uh, yeah, I have a chance to win, I have to give everything and so on and uh, I think I was, I played well in the beginning of the game and that was really, really important. I mean, I started to lead to zero and uh, yes, it wasn't easy for him, you know, to come back and uh, Anyway, I don't know, it's a great result, I think, for me, even that I lost against Timo in the semi-finals. I think, yeah, I had a chance to win, but still I'm very satisfied, yeah. Well, tremendous performance, and yes, I think it's your 14th Men's World Cup. The first time you played was 1996 in the city of Nîmes, and you finished in the bronze medal position then. And do I remember you beat Ding Song? Yes, in the quarterfinals, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I finished the group second and then I beat Din Song. It was, I think, 3-2. Yeah, is it possible? Yeah, it was close game. Yeah, yeah, I was third. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Third place in Nîmes. Now, I mean, can you compare your performances in the men's welcome? If we look at the 14 appearances, we have the wins. Is there anything that really stands out in your memory, 1996 to 2012? I mean, it was so long time ago, and uh, I remember that uh, in '96 it was already a good result. I mean, and now, uh, yes, I think just uh, being number 14 in the world and beating Suksin, for example, and winning this medal is, uh, of course, is different. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not uh, 19 years old anymore, and uh, of course, each result gives you the the power to continue and. Uh, yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed playing here. Well, I think 36 years old and uh, now an experienced player. And that worries me when somebody says Vladimir Samsonov, the most experienced player, because I remember 1995, I was in the World Cup in Nîmes and I think you arrived as the reserve and a little disappointed that you couldn't play. But uh, great wins over the years. I remember Moscow in particular. Of the wins you've had in the Men's World Cup in these 14 appearances, is the one win, one success in particular, that stands out above all the others? Well, actually, yeah, the first time I won the World Cup, that was also very special, of course. Second, I remember in 2001 in Comayor, we played... Uh, yeah, it was a different to tournament, you know. To play in the Comayor is totally different from playing here, for example, because the ball, ball jumps much higher because of the height. And uh, I was the one who, yeah, I felt like I was all my life practicing there because also afterwards I won European Championships there and quite easily, you know. Uh, so it was it's actually my city, <laughs> Comayor. And then came Moscow. Yes, very, very hard 
game against Malong. I think I was down 8-5 in the last set and uh, beat twice uh, Chen Chi and uh, yeah, I'd say Moscow, yeah, was really, really special. Well, I was privileged to be there in Moscow to watch you play and uh, to watch you in. I was privileged to be here to see you get the bronze medal to third place. Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus. He moved all through to the semi-finals, a 4-0 win over Josie Hook. That's a lot different to 12 months ago in Paris when in one of the greatest matches of 2011. I think you lost 11-9 in the seventh game. Massive difference today. Yeah, this was a crucial match after I had a bad shoulder injury over, four, over three months. So that's why I said to myself maybe I have to finish it today a little bit faster and no, I have a very good feeling against defense right now. Played a lot of defenders the last few weeks and that's why I play yeah, nearly without mistakes. Well, certainly without mistakes at the start of the first game. I mean, the first eight points, you were very quickly into a good rhythm. Yeah, I'm really confident against defenders right now. I, I beat Chen Weiqing quite easily, Wang Shi in the Bundesliga, uh, Ruhn Filos also very easily. So, yeah, I'm in, I'm in a good shape against defenders, but... Yeah, anyway, I have to work hard. I knew when he finds his rhythm, it's, it, it can be really tough, and that's why I was really focused during the whole game. But you seem very, very clear in your mind with the tactic. If there was a crucial point, it was service and then first attack to the backhand. But, of course, when uh, Joe's hook defends from the backhand, that's very heavy topspin. You made it look very easy. Yeah, I try to hit the ball the balls quite early. That's my tactic right now to, against defenders. And I can do a lot of variations, sometimes softer, sometimes harder, sometimes to his middle, sometimes to his backhand. So it's my goal that he couldn't find a rhythm, that he couldn't find yeah, the real tactic against me. Well, I think you highlighted the point sometimes to the middle, sometimes to the backhand. For Timo Boll, it worked through to the semi-finals of the Lieber Men's World Cup. Moron, congratulations, Lieber Men's World Cup winner. How does that feel? Uh,还是非常高兴嘛，因为这次比赛其实并没有像决赛当中这么顺利吧，因为小组赛自己其实当时这种面临着很大这种被淘汰的危险嘛，所以说既然能够最后拿到这个冠军，我觉得还是值得
There's another tournament to be mentioned that I came here in 2009, English Open, I also went men's singles champion. So I should say England is my lucky place. Uh, to me, the four tournaments I play in England are all very successful, but I think the two most important ones are both in London, Proto Finals and the London Olympics, in which I learned so much. And I think the Olympic Games laid a solid foundation for, for myself to win this uh, men's World Cup. Successful England, you're always welcome in England. Marlong, the Lieber Men's World Cup champion.